Yeah, I think people um, misinterpret what can be done now. I think they believe that we've got to wait for the big guys in charge to do things. Um, I think we also understand that they're not going to do it now. They're so polarized that they can't really reach across the aisle or they're bought and paid for, as we've talked about. So I believe the revolution is going to come from the bottom up. I think it's going to happen with individuals. I think it starts now between you and me. And it starts with just simple actions. You know, as I talked about before, we're so infectious that becoming a change agent isn't that hard. Um, in a game where greed is the game, it's easy to change the game by just starting reciprocating, just starting little elements of generosity. There was a woman who was in an office that was, um, that was the usual greedy, self-serving type of place. And so she decided to try to change the game by leaving change in the Coke machine every day when she went to her, get her Coke at the, uh, her lunch break. And this totally floored her, um, all of the people in the office. They didn't know what to do with this. Um, so they started spying on the Coke machine. They started creating a, a rotation, a neighborhood watch scheme to find out who this little secret Santa was. And at, at which point she upped her ante and she went to another floor and started leaving donuts every day. She completely changed the culture of her business by alerting people and just putting in front of their face the power of generosity to change the game. And so this is what I invite everybody to do is don't think big, think small. Think about tiny acts that you can do to change the game. And you also can become a game changer and start first with your circle, start with your office, start with your neighborhood, you know, take out your neighbor's trash, hug a Republican if you're a, neighbor, if you're a Democrat. You know, simple acts like that can become game changers. Very good, Lynn. You know, I, I, and I'll end the interview at this point. Something came to mind just now. I, I had dinner with David Icke here about two or three months ago, and he said something that really struck a bell because what we're doing right now by speaking over the internet and sending this out into the airwaves as frequencies has a certain amount uh, an effect on reprogramming the, the inner matrix of this system that we're all part of. So I think it's important to get this information out in, in books, in technology, because every time we even talk to another person, we're we are bioelectrical units and we're sending out a frequency and the more we can get people to open up and talk and be open about this the more we're actually reprogramming the grid so to speak and that bleeds down to everybody absolutely I agree I think you know one of the amazing things about being here in modern times is the technology and the fact that we can connect just as we're connecting right now and how we're going to connect to so many people on the planet just with this interview is an example of how we can come together. And I've done it myself on the intention experiments. We've had people from 90 countries around the globe all together holding the same thought, all feeling this palpable sense of oneness. And so this is our moment to use this technology to connect and to connect across any kind of divide. Yeah, I've, I've been following the intention experiment. What do you have about 18 experiments going now? or 22. 22. 22, wow. and we've had 18 successes. 18, 18 successes. have demonstrated have demonstrated measurable positive ex, um, effects. And we have many more planned after, you know, I'm spreading the word about the bond now. But once I'm done, I'm planning some very big experiments, particularly for 2012. Well, very good, Lynn. I'm going to keep up with what you're doing. Great. Thank, Thank you. Can I just let people know about our Bond website because we've Absolutely. got a new one. Absolutely. Um, for people who want more information about the Bond, um, I'm also starting a fairness campaign which is interesting because as I said I was struck by how unfair so many places in the West, particularly America, are. And so this fa fairness campaign is just to alert people, to make people understand, and to try to bring fairness into their lives. So if people want more information about all of my activities related to the bond, please go to www.thebond.net 
also they can get a free download of the intro to the introduction of the book. All right, Lynn. Thank you very much. And Thank I'll, you. I'll, I'll be in touch again. Great. Have nice good, speaking uh, with you. Yep. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.